Hello, hello everyone. How is everyone tonight? I hope everyone's doing well. I am just double checking to see if it's possible to add that feature to the bot. I don't believe it is, Rue, but let's see, there's the heist minigame, gamble minigame, eight ball slots, cool pyramids and combos. Um, variables. This won't be pretty. Places options with options for pulling or betting timer title cooldown channel custom commands channel sub points places channel switch channel sub channel dot subs title counts uh donation links target follow there's so many things here <laughs> I don't think that's one of them modules like missing something maybe i mean i can just like straight up give points and stuff like that <laughs> i can do that i think yeah i can just like take all of <laughs> nate's points away and give them to someone else or whatever <laughs> but i don't think as far as i can tell there may be a way to make like a custom command or something because there are a bunch of There are a bunch of uh like variables that you can do and whatnot. Um Oh wait. Yeah, uh try Nate. Uh try exclamation mark give space Ruman the NB twat space ten thousand or whatever. Try that. So, like, without the quotes, obviously, it'd be give Rue man the B Y T W A T space ten thousand. Try that without the quotes. Try it one more time. <laughs> I I don't think you put the at. I'm pretty sure you don't put an at sign. That's why it didn't go through. I think you just put the, uh, just like I typed it out. That might work. That's a command that's in here, at least. So it should, hopefully. Holy shortbread! I don't know if you're on mobile or not, but I was going to say you could just copy and paste. <laughs> Your kind ain't welcome. Wicked witches, spooky trees. All right, well, anyways, while Nate is trying that out to see if it works or not, um, let's go ahead and get into the game, shall we? I am a little bit worried about this game and, uh,. Stuntman, actually both of them. Stuntman, if I remember correctly, was less scratched up than this one, but hey, there you go. It worked. <laughs> awesome, so that command works. Um, anyways, yeah, this one here is honestly pretty bad. I cleaned it up the best I could, but I don't have a resurfacing machine yet, so I wasn't able to like completely resurface it. Fingers crossed it'll work. I uh, played just a tiny bit of it to make sure that it at least like booted up and whatnot. Wow, this is very quiet. At least it's just reading what's on the screen. But anyways, uh, so yeah, so hopefully it's okay. My only worry is that like we'll get into a level and it suddenly just stops loading or something like that. That would suck. But fingers crossed, everyone. Fingers crossed. Then I need help collecting eyeballs. It'll be a long journey, and nobody wants to see me hungry. Why don't we just get some parfaits? You know, ones with whipped cream. Oh, I love whipped cream. Ogres eat nature, not parfaits. Ogres eat nature, not parfaits. Okay. Anyways, uh, can we turn up the <laughs> voices by any chance? Everything's already turned up 100%. Excellent. Love that. 
Um, because that's obviously working. <laughs> it's like it's randomly so freaking quiet. Wait a second, choose players. Can we change who our four players are? Oh, so that's like I'm I'm assuming this is like a four player game or whatever. And then hey, Rod File One, thank you. Um, so then like if you have multiple, you know, controllers plugged in, multiple people can can play at the same time. Uh, I am a little bit worried, right? Because I, I was playing, like I said, I tried it out a little bit. And from the first level, right here, this is all I played. But it is reminding me a little bit of those really crappy uh, Nickelodeon games that we played. The, the you know, four-player brawler Nickelodeon games that we tried out. So I'm a little worried it's going to end up being like that. But from the first level, at least, it seems okay. So, I mean, there's a chance, at least, that it won't <laughs> completely suck. It does seem like most of the players, or most of the characters, play pretty similarly to each other. Um, Donkey does have this thing. I don't know what it's for. But, like, if you press triangle, he does that weird kick. Whereas, like, nobody else does anything if you press triangle. So I don't know what's up with that. I'm assuming we can use it to, I don't know, maybe like kick over some large object later or something. Maybe do something special with it. I don't really know. I guess time will tell. First level though, super small, super simple. We're just running around collecting the 18 eyeballs or whatever. Um, yeah, I don't really think. There's other little collectibles. I don't know if they do anything. Like, I don't know if you guys saw it, but at the top of here... If we come up here and then make our way around this without falling, I think maybe the gingerbread man is who I used last time because he actually, you know, is small. You can get around a little bit better. I do think he also jumps a little bit higher, but there's that. I don't know if you just saw that thing that popped up, but that's another thing that we can collect. And then these dudes, the little dwarves, I'm assuming it's the seven dwarves. <laughs> Again, I have no idea what it actually does if we collect them all, but... Fuck it, why not, you know? I'm just happy there's a little bit more to the game than, like, the Nicktoons... What was, what was it even called? Nicktoons Unite? Is that what it was? But, uh, like... Because there was nothing to do in that one. You just ran around fighting stuff, and... It didn't feel good. Fighting stuff didn't feel good. Right? It was just... It was very basic, very simple. There wasn't enough to it. So I'm hoping this game here will just be a little bit more, more deep with its mechanics, and uh, maybe the extra collectibles will add another layer to the game itself. I was hoping one of the characters would have, like, a double jump or something, so that we could, you know, get to places the other ones can't. So I do believe the gingerbread man jumps a little bit higher, but, like, that's not, you know, <laughs> it's not that big of a deal if we can jump, like, an extra half a foot. This is the one you played. It was decently fun. I'm hoping so. I like the movies. <laughs> I mean, the movies are okay, right? Um, but then again, I also like classic Nicktoons. And so far, the games we've played from them have not been so great. Shrek is love. Shrek is life. <laughs> yes, indeed. Indubitably. Shrek is love. Shrek is life. So, this has a picture of Shrek on it, so I'm assuming only Shrek can pick it up. And then... Can we collect this weird thingy? What are those things, even, that we're collecting? The little, the little like, seed-looking dudes. Oh, Shrek also has this, like, belly flop attack thing. I'm going to turn the game up just a little bit. Make sure I have my sound card turned up first. Every once in a while I'll be playing a game while I'm doing something else and I don't want the sound card being super high, so I turn it down. Maybe I forgot to turn it back up. Nope. It's turned up. This game must just be quiet as hell. Okay. Turn it up a bit. Hopefully that's a bit better. You make your friend a Shrek cake for her birthday. She asks you to. You don't think she <laughs> thinks you'll do it? How are you going to make her a Shrek cake? Is it just going to be like... Is it going to be Shrek's head, or is it just going to have a picture of Shrek? What kind of Shrek cake? Oh, 
me just <laughs> I'm here for the beating the ass of these merry men. I'm all for that. I've seen the mirror pop up a couple times, and I don't know what he does. Oh, he's like your tutorial character. Character. So you can pick up stunned enemies and then throw them at other enemies? Yes, please. I'm here for it, dude. It won't let you gift sub Nate? Why won't it let you gift sub Nate? I think Nate's already subbed for the month, isn't he? That's probably why. At least that's my best guess. I don't... I, I fully admit I don't 100% understand how things <laughs> how things work. <laughs> Sometimes, honestly, Twitch just confuses me, so <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I appreciate the thought, though. I'm sure Nate does as well. Holy crap, we are quickly dying. Um, I was not paying any attention. <laughs> Is there? Can people come back to life, or are we just screwed now? Uh, is that a is that a health elixir over there or something? That blue thing. Oh, that would have been really nice. Whenever we, you know, didn't have half the team dead. <laughs> I think it might be a little bit late for that invulnerability now, though. <laughs> That's an epic potion, actually. Is that the the potion from? Was that Shrek 2 or Shrek 3 where you, uh, or Shrek gets that potion that he drinks? And then to, like, have his happily ever after potion or whatever? Oh, we actually won! What? Dude, I thought for sure we were screwed. We were so close to dying. That was too. So I wonder if that's what the potion's modeled after. One she sent you is a chocolate cake with frosting, and it. it looks like some green fondant balls. I <laughs> said, <laughs> "What the hell?" Okay, of course it is. Um, Fiona, what are you what are you doing up there, dude? Does that just happen every time we walk over this? No, must have been like a one-time trap thing. Maybe to teach us a mechanic. It's always nice when games give you situations to teach you what the hell's going on. You know, in Spanish, a donkey is called a burro. I guess that means a real donkey is a burrito. I don't remember giant turtles being in Shrek. I fully admit, my memory is pretty poor, and I haven't seen the movie in a little while, but... You're welcome, dude. Happy to help out, Mr. Dwarf, sir. Was a motley crew who asked if I would let them through. I'll open the gate for you and your mates if you will bring me fairies. Um, that doesn't rhyme, Press sir. The special button to slow down time with Fiona. Then touch all the fairies to collect them. That wasn't a thing before. It's Fiona time. So we must be unlocking, like, new power-ups or whatever? That's cool. I'm here for that. How many of the fairies do we actually need to collect? Wait, can we just, like, do this as many times as we want? Or maybe that's what the little number is over, over, like, Fiona's head and the gingerbread man's head. Maybe their special moves can only be done a certain number of times. Yeah, dude, okay, that makes sense. Wait, do we need to, like, break these ones out of jars? I honestly forgot you did that, Noodle. I think that's all of them. Are you happy, Mr. Leprechaun, sir? Thanks for helping out your wee fellow man. Ah, oh, it's my pleasure. I love trapping me some fairies, after all. them for your manager too i don't remember this like at all can we somebody must be able to hit that right maybe donkey with, like his super kick no uh game hint please 
I have to be. Oh, okay. Hint, dude just popped up. What you got for us? Track can throw the turtles at the switch, or Gingerbread Man can throw candy canes to hit the target. Well, considering we've already killed the turtles since you popped up a little bit late, maybe Gingerbread Man. How do we? How do we throw stuff though? Oh, we have to jump and then throw. Okay. Dope. These are cookies that Gingerbread Man can throw to attract creatures and enemies of all sorts. It's like some puzzle elements are being introduced. <laughs> the hell with the shark, dude. I'm gonna have to like use cookies to, to attract creatures to I don't know, hold down switches or something. Before throwing it by holding the special button, then releasing it to throw the cookie. Why wouldn't your dad eat one? Just because it was shaped like a dick? Get wrecked, turtles. Um, excuse me, turtles. There's a, there's another, there's another cookie like right over there, sir. Go eat the other cookie. Thank you. Oh wait, you didn't. Go <laughs> you didn't go on the thing. You're supposed to go on the switch. Now wait a second. If I, if I hit this, are those turtles just gonna come back down and we have to refight them? I'm assuming yes. So we'll just we'll leave them up there for now. Um jump then attack to do donkey. Donkey has a butt stomp too? Uh what? Did it not say circle? I could have swore it said circle, man. Oh can we like get a turtle over here and then fling it up in the air? Oh, excuse me, turtle. Right there. And then donkey. That didn't seem to work. <laughs> nope. Okay. Whatever. It was a neat idea, I guess. It's just a dumb cake. That's my feeling on it, but... Your co-worker's husband wouldn't eat one either, and neither would your friend's husband. <laughs> Dude. If you put a delicious cake in front of me, I don't give a fuck what it looks like, like, <laughs> or what, what pattern it has, at least. I guess, like, if it looked like actual crap, I probably wouldn't want to eat it, you know? Like, if it looked moldy or something, but, like, well, that didn't work. I'm trying to do this without talking to the hint dude, but... I'm a bit confused here. We have a random barrel, exploding barrel. And then we have... This box. The box, I think, we just used to get this stuff, the coins. And then maybe Gingerbread Man, since he seems to jump a little bit higher. No, never mind. He can't jump that high. Oh, and he's a little bit shorter anyways, I guess. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Huh. Pretty sure I ate one or two of them. Yeah, I'm sure I did. I... <laughs> Why wouldn't I? Speaking of, man, I kind of want some more of those cookies. We bought sugar cookies with, um... What were they? A ghost and something else on it? What was the other one? Ghost and... Oh, uh, Count Chocula or whatever his name was. And, uh, I mean, it was good. But, like, the chocolate ones just kind of absorbed the flavor from the... From the... The fruity ghost ones. So, like, the chocolate ones aren't amazing, to be honest. But the, the fruity ones are actually pretty good. I still think I prefer just regular sugar cookies but i mean they're still good though maybe if we can we stack like what if we put the exploding barrel frankenberry dude oh ghosts were that didn't work that destroyed the box actually um anyways i was thinking ghosts ghosts are the the other ones the ones that i wanted to get the regular sugar cookies but then we ended up getting yeah
Oh, we like jump higher every time. So then, okay. And go for it. Nope, <laughs> that didn't work. All right, maybe we need someone smaller on the other side. Like maybe get Shrek on one side here. And then get like Gingerbread Man. Is Gingerbread Man even gonna be heavy enough to send Shrek into the air though? Oh, okay. It's working. I'm, I'm a little surprised it's working, honestly. I don't think Gingerbread Man is large. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Large enough to, to send Shrek over or that high, but I mean, whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll take it. <laughs> we'll take it. Ah! Is there a way to, like, get us even higher? Throw a TNT barrel at one end of the teeter-totter to send Shrek much higher into the Oh. The power of explosives. Got it. Okay, so jump here. How do we throw stuff again? Is it... X? Square. Okay. <laughs> that, that did the trick. Let's go, dude. You got a heist going? You know I gotta join that heist real quick. Uh, if I could find my mouse. Hello? Mouse? There it is. Gotta get them points back somehow, dude. Nate over there stealing them all from everyone all the time. <laughs> I can't believe that luck streak you had, man. Got you up to, what, 17, 18,000? Like... Aw, oh, dude. Nate's just handing them out to everyone because of how much he won. <laughs> That's not what I was trying to do. I wanted to throw it. <laughs> Turns out, I'm an idiot. I've already forgotten how to throw. Is it X? Circle? Maybe tr maybe triangle? Uh, Game? Game? I want to... Why can I not walk up onto the teeter-totter? Son of a bitch, dude. Okay, I was able to walk up on it when it was on that side, I think. So I guess we have to do that again. This is news? No, it's definitely not news. Who lived? Nate and Noodle, that's it. <laughs> oh, well, we tried. Stop sitting it down. How do we throw again? Wait, reset the teeter-totter. The bot hates you today? The bot hates all of us some days. Rip streaming, Rue. Thanks, man. Okay. So, must be square. There we go. Okay, I don't even know why I'm trying so hard to collect these damn coins, but, like, you put collectibles in front of me, and I have a hard time just ignoring them. I can't do it. What are you OMGing? This is my home, not a petting zoo. I'll call you Petty. Name's Lil Shrek Rob. trying to get it on again. Grandmother gets her chickens for her to make soup. Will you help me? We're fucking up dick cake pan molds on Amazon. I mean, why am I not surprised? First result is a cat butt cookie cake. I don't understand all of the obsession that people have with, with cat butts, honestly. I never understood that. Like, I just, dude, they're just cat butts. Like, <laughs> I don't, I don't get it. We have to throw it in. There we go. Throw it in, dude. Red Riding Hood literally is a swatter. What's, what's that mean? Sorry, I'm not I'm not hip with the lingo. I don't I don't speak the kid. Oh shit. Don't go in the water. Thank god they respawn. Oh, can, we can just punch them in? Dude, that's so much better. Punch the freaking chickens into the soup. <laughs> Let's go. How many does she need? Eight of them? No problem, man. Let me just punch these chickens to <laughs> smithereens. Squatter. Okay, okay, okay. What Noodle was saying. Gotcha. Yeah, that makes a little more sense. 
one of these days i want to look up like how the laws on squatters rights actually work because in the town where i live there are a couple abandoned lots that are just like sitting there that nobody's been taken care of and lord knows how long so i'm tempted to just start taking care of them and documenting it for i had someone tell me it has to be like seven years which honestly like if that's all it takes to <laughs> claim ownership of some property i'm here for it man i'll mow some lawns and shit for seven years straight when no one else wants to do it So did we, did we just make a big circle? <laughs> Cause isn't this, is this not where we started out? Wait, what are we doing now? Blackbird Symphony? What? <laughs> I'm confused. I should have been paying more attention. Technically, uh, you also have to pay the taxes. I mean, that's fine. I don't know what land taxes are in uh, my area, but I can't imagine a single lot with nothing on it would cost that much in taxes, you know? Oh, there's a new area open over here. Okay. Right, I'm dangerous and cute. <laughs> just kick the shit out of Gingerbread Man. Screw that guy anyways. I know, like, by the end of the movie, he ends up being friends or whatever, but it's something about the Gingerbread Man, I'm just not comfortable with, dude. <laughs> like, I, just, I don't really like the guy. I don't know. Property owner has kept on tax. It's considered maintained, even if it's unkept. I doubt it, to be honest. I mean, <laughs> it's possible that they have, of course. I don't actually know. But, like, man, I've never seen anybody even come and look at the, the plot of land, the one that I specifically have in mind. Like, it's just sat there completely unkept. And, well, as long as I've been living where I live now, which is, what, eight years? Seven years? Something like that. It's been a while. No, it couldn't have been eight years. Maybe seven. Six or seven years now that I've been here, and yeah. This potion increases your team's attack power for a limited time. Handy. I don't feel like we really need that right now, honestly, but I'll take it. Okay, that was actually a very limited time. It didn't do shit for us. <laughs> you take care of the one next to us and behind us. There's so... So there's no more mice. <laughs> Noodle has been traumatized by these stupid mice, man. The whole two or three that we've had. And each time it's just been field mice. Which is the extra annoying part. Because, like, field mice don't even infest homes. Which is nice to know that, like, I don't have a, a mouse infestation in the house, right? That part's nice, I guess, but at the same time, it's like, dude, you're a field mouse. Why the hell are you coming into my house? Just <laughs> stay out in the fields, dude. <laughs> That's where you're supposed to be. Go back out there and do your thing. So I don't have to deal with you, and my cats don't try to eat you. You'd think after the first time of coming in the house and being like, oh, no, this, <laughs> there are scary creatures here that try to murder me. They would just be like, I'm done. <laughs> but nope. Stupid things just keep coming back around. $14.99 plus tax. Are you trying to buy a cake tin? I feel like you're trying to buy some kind of weird cake tin. Okay, where or what are we doing now? Do we just go the other direction? The direction that we... Excuse me, game. Seriously? Why won't the gingerbread man come back down here? Were you scared to jump off that tiny little hill, cliff, whatever you want to call it? What do you got him, man? Right moment, slow down time with Fiona to get through safely. Oh, yeah, okay. That makes sense. 
and before we get fucked. Nah, we good. We Gucci, dude. I probably shouldn't have, like, went straight to breaking those, because it looks like we can probably jump on them. Yeah. Get more stuff. Damn. How am I ever going to get 100% now? The shame. Oh. Why'd the hint man disappear? I, sir, I kind of wanted your hint. <laughs> Is he telling us to, I don't know, throw stuff? No, that doesn't seem to work. Uh, I'm assuming he was going to help us get the crap over there. Can I turn the camera? I can. Is there a switch somewhere? Then? Oh, maybe that one. Does that do anything helpful? Yeah, dude, let's go. Saving these dwarfs one hint at a time. Um, excuse me. Gingerbread man. Why? <laughs> That's not... Why are you throwing... Why are you throwing over there? Oh, because of that stupid turtle? Stop throwing at the turtle. I, I don't care about the turtle, dude. Throw it over there. Oh my god. Okay. I guess we have to go kill these turtles first. Or wait, maybe now that that one's dead, it'll throw straight. There we go. Got it. I don't believe you for even a moment, Noodle. I just want that on the record. Things like... Well, my <laughs> Is that seven? Six. One more. Okay, maybe somebody that can actually help with some damage. Gingerbread Man's got that range on him, but... Doesn't exactly have the, the best damage output. Keep out of Donkey Land? I'll show you Donkey Land. How do we get up? Maybe, maybe Donkey can... Oh, you know what? I bet you this is what the Donkey can kick open. Yeah, dude. Can you just jump up there, Gingerbread Man? No? Come on. Just just make it. Just a tiny bit higher. Trash. I'll do it the intended way, I suppose. Why you know believe me? Why would I believe you is the better question. Like... <laughs> uh, excuse me, Shrek? Why can you not jump up there, man? Shrek needs to work on his jumps. Dude must be skipping leg day. Is he going to be able to make it up this one? Because I feel like Gingerbread Man's not going to be able to pull that lever. Come on. Are you for real? Alright, Gingerbread Man. It's all up to you, dude. Hopefully you uh, haven't been skipping arm day. <laughs> oh, okay. He just uses the hook. Get some extra leverage on it. That's all. chickens for the sink and i had help from my four new friends splendid now if your friends will fetch me some blackbirds i'll make them the best blackbird pie they ever tasted shrek's starving for some great pie and an old shut-in wants to make it for him but who will be able to bring home the blackbird fiona doll it's your hero time is this a singing hero game time. Oh god. Okay, thankfully the lag doesn't seem too bad from playing through OBS. I was a little scared for a moment, I'm not gonna lie. I've been playing a lot of uh, rhythm games recently. Because I've been playing uh, Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memories. Oh, shit. We missed one. Um, not the best game, honestly, but it's not, like, bad either. It's just, it's just a rhythm game is the, the thing, right? Like... 
So if you like rhythm games, you probably enjoy it, but otherwise it's kind of meh. Oh shit. Thankfully, I do like rhythm games, so... Yay! You don't trust Grandma? Yeah, I'm assuming, I mean, with the whole Little Red Riding Hood thing, that Grandma's actually a wolf. Wait, that's it? That was the end? There's <laughs> no reveal with Grandma or anything like that? And we missed a thing. We missed a we missed a um, a freaking dwarf. What the hell, dude? Tree time. Twelve men. Wait, what? Oh. Okay. So that's what collecting the stuff does. It just unlocks pictures. I mean, <laughs> I'm sorry, but uh, I don't really care about collecting a couple little pictures, man. I gotta admit. Hey, Noodle! Congrats, man. 15,000 on that. You suck at rhythm games. I uh, I grew up playing a crap ton of Guitar Hero and Rock Band, so I'm not, like, terrible at them, but I'm not amazing either. I used to be pretty good at Rock Band. Not, like, the best in the world or anything, but I could beat uh, any song on Rock Band, on Expert at least. Couldn't 100% them or anything crazy, but I could beat them. The wicked witch then left a trail of cheese, so the mice would be led to her doorstep and into her boiling pot, because she is really wicked. I could tell you some stories. Hmm. Mice soup. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> we have been rudely turned back into mice. Yes, I can see that. No, you can't. By Joe, that smells like cheese. Wait a second. Wait. Now we need so... The three blind men were turned into three blind mice, and then they just started chasing cheese? Did they get the mannerisms of mice, too? I was under the impression they were still just dudes, just, you know, looking like mice. Unless they were dudes that were just really into some cheese, I guess. <laughs> like, uh, I suppose that was a possibility. Can we, like, stop them from collecting the cheese somehow? I also see that we got a uh, red now as a companion. What do you do? Okay, so you're like pure range. Do you have a triangle ability? Not yet. You got that circle thing. How's your jump? Oh, you can jump real high, dude. Do you want to fold clothes? Probably not, but you probably should at the same time. You yeah, like I feel like we need to stop the mice from progressing, not help them progress. Also, chest, please. Can we collect the chest? Is there secrets? Suddenly RPG game, please. Oh my god, Shrek, please jump just a little bit higher, man. <laughs> just a little bit. I got to watch where I'm going. <laughs> you know what you can do, Noodle, if you're not busy doing anything else? You could bring me something to drink, fill up my water, maybe. Or or make me a propel water thingy. Because I forgot to get water in. I'm a thirsty boy. So wait, her... So she throws things when she's on the ground, but she does a spin attack when in the air. The packets make 16 ounces, so maybe just fill the bottle up like three quarters of the way. Silence! What's up, man? Been a couple days. How you doing? Wait, are we are we kicking the shit out of the tree? <laughs> I know you're like a mystical freaking sentient tree and all that, but, uh, fuck you in particular. I'm just... <laughs> oh, man.
You know what I convinced Noodle to watch and I was actually kind of surprised? Uh -oh. I didn't really even have to do any like convincing. He just kind of did it. Oh, oh shit. Ouch, um, South Park, man. I was very surprised because she's always like hated South Park. And then she was just like, I'll give it a try, I guess, one day. <laughs> I was like, dude, let's go. I freaking love South Park. I know Noodle hates it, but I I love South Park, man. It's stupid, and that's that's fine. It's fantastic. It's really making me want to play South Park Fractured But Whole, though. Because I've played the first one, the, uh, what the hell was it called? The Stick of Truth, but I've never played the second one, Fractured But Whole. Good but need sleep, bruh. That's life. I'm sorry I didn't see that. <laughs> that's how I feel all the time, man. I make fun of Noodle all the time because that's all she does is sleep. But at the same time, like, I wake up and I'm tired. I just want to go back to bed. <laughs> like, honestly. Okay, mice, can you like chill for a moment? Excuse me. While I while I do some collecting. Is there how do we jump higher? Oh. That worked. Noodle was a sleepy girl. She really is though. Wait, what hap what happened? Did the mice die? Are there traps somewhere that I Excuse me, game. I am definitely touching that potion. Okay, whatever. I give up. Oh, we need a we need to build a bridge before the mice finish eating the cheese. Okay. Apparently, our own people can fall in there too. Donkey, I need you. Can everyone else just, like, collect the coins for me while I go over here? Or is your AI not smart enough to do that? I don't know why I'm trying to go over the, the sketchy-ass bridge. I should probably just walk over that as well. Went through all the trouble of knocking it down, after all. Bruh. That potion's rigged. I'm I don't sorry, care. I didn't see that. Okay, what terrible way are they going to die now? Wait, why can't we just walk over the bridge? What was the... Oh, for the thing, maybe? Is that cheese I smell? Like, I see the power-up on the other side of the bridge for Fiona's time slowdown thing. But, like, what's the point? Alright, hint, dude. Maybe these bats are a little too fast to get through. Right, I get that. I guess maybe just to collect the magic seed. Because, you know, we gotta do that. <laughs> Pull the lever, Kronk. You'd rather watch Mike and Molly, though? I don't know if anyone out there has watched Mike and Molly. I, When we were at the hotel, it was on TV. So I ended up watching a bit of it. And it was surprisingly decent. I'm not going to lie. Like, I, I was found myself actually laughing while uh, while I was supposed to be sleeping. So, like... <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not mad about it, dude. Like, I would totally watch more Mike and Molly. You did get a raise, though? Hell yeah, man. You better head to bed uh, less than one week before school. Yeah, you're good, man. Thanks for coming and hanging out with us for a bit, Rue. Get yourself some sleep. Congrats on the raise, though. That's always a good thing. I can't think of uh, any reason why you, you know, wouldn't want to raise. <laughs> Do we have to, like, break the statue?
I guess not. Statue seems to just be there for the hell of it? Question mark? What about these things? Okay, we can break them too, but does it do anything? No. Doesn't seem to. Weird. Ah, yeah, whatever. We'll just ignore it then. <laughs> Pretend it doesn't exist. I mean, if it doesn't do anything, then what's the point, right? Fuck it. Checkpoint. Please and thank you. I'll take it. Uh, hood. Can you maybe throw a thingy at the bell? Nobody Let out the skeevers? Okay. Man, there... The more I think about it, the more I just remember games that I'm wanting to play, dude. Because, like, I'm also wanting to play Skyrim right now because of that mod that came out that I was talking about, uh, I think it was last stream. Uh, hood. Please, quickly. Save the mice. No, dude, I threw the thing. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I didn't realize that, like, they were going to go straight forward. I wasn't paying that much attention. Oh, well, now we know. Hi, Noodle. Oh, my God, the Kronk uh, lounge fly thing. That's cute. I like how, uh, like, the, the backpack is uh, Devil Kronk, and then the little clutch or whatever you want to call it is a... Uh, Wallet? Is that a wallet? Whatever it is. <laughs> it's uh, Angel Kronk. That's cute. How much are they? Oh, they're still in pre-release or whatever. Preview. At the Disney what? Disney has their own expo? Huh. Okay, then. Just say it's Yoda time. Sound a lot like she said it's Yoda time. Thank you. Did you try it? <laughs> Noodle doesn't like anything sugar free. Plus three hit points, plus one attack. Are these permanent or are these temporary? Because, like, if it's permanent, I'd rather just save up and get the double value coins. Because, like, I feel like we're doing okay. Besides that one thing with the th the the wise men or whatever the hell it was the merry men besides the one thing with them we didn't really have any problems with our hit points uh extra attack would be nice because i do feel like it takes forever to kill some stuff but double value coins just means we can buy more shit more quickly so i think we're gonna save well save up rather I guess that tells us uh, what we need to collect the coins for. I also noticed, like, in the menu, there is this upgrade section. Crease health, maximum plus three. Goldilocks has stinky socks for clean ones she did forage. She snooped around but finally found this yummy, lumpy porridge. So, are these, like, things we can find, then? Or things we can buy? How? How? How, how do we unlock these? That's what I want to know. Goldilocks, oh wait, we already read that one. Romantic ogres with cried on shoulders, trading thoughts of love, giving rings with strength to sting when pushing comes to shove. Oh, oh. it says right ab above, oh no, no. Okay, I thought the little thing above it was actually how we collected it, but no, I just misread it. So this one makes coins worth double. Rainbow colors in the sky, a spectrum to behold. And at the end of this rainbow, you'll find the pot of gold. There once was a leprechaun from Dover who told an ogre to bend over and pick up a thing for health and for spring, a lovely long stem green clover. Maybe the things we buy give us these le from the leprechaun? Like maybe it's not just a, a upgrade or whatever. Maybe he actually gives us an item. Hearts of gold are good, I'm told, to keep you healthier. If life was measured by its price, you'd be wealthier. Kicking horses par for courses, making you so strong. By buying this lucky horseshoe, you wouldn't dare go wrong. Health is gained when you are maimed or when you take a dive. Cats that live have much to give when sharing their nine lives. Aw. Getting strong, your life is long. Fighting like a pharaoh. So help me pay my mortgage by buying Cupid's arrow. Okay. 
<laughs> the Skagit here is cheap and near. You shouldn't wait to grab it. Though the luck it showers you did not bring luck for rabbits. Very true. Very true. I never understood the lucky rabbit's foot thing. Like, why is that considered lucky, you know? Hey, Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. I appreciate that. But yeah, like, how is taking a rabbit's foot and hanging it around your neck supposed to bring you luck or just carrying it around or whatever? It's the foot of a dead animal. <laughs> <I> just... <laughs> hey, you're playing Stardew Valley Expanded? Hell yeah, dude. Expanded's a ton of fun. I need to finish playing through it myself. Because I've been playing it, but I haven't, uh, I haven't beaten it. I've never beaten Expanded before. As much as you can beat something in Stardew Valley, you know? I haven't, haven't played the majority of the content, I guess is a, a decent way to put it. Ow. Oh, shit, dude. He's dead already. This Tin Man's got, got moves. So when he's actually attacking, we just need to stay the hell away from him. Or attack him with range, I guess. There doesn't seem to be any way to get close to him to do anything. How far, uh... If you can take a moment to answer. <laughs> how far have you gotten in Stardew Valley Expanded, Nate? No secrets, no collectibles. Oh, there's a TNT barrel. We probably could have used that to fight the Tin Men. I'm assuming we can't go in here, right? Yeah, no. Okay. All right, mice, go in the thing. Go in the thing, do the thing. Which flavor is that noodle? If you can hear right now. Honestly, it just it doesn't taste like a whole lot. Like it's not it doesn't it's not bad or anything like that. It just doesn't taste like much. Just tastes like uh kind of sweet water. Strawberry kiwi? Huh, okay. I think maybe it just needs maybe it just needs a little bit less water in it or something. Maybe it's a little too watered down. It doesn't taste bad. I'm definitely going to finish it. It just doesn't have as much flavor as I thought it would. But then again, I guess I'm probably more used to, uh, like, the, the Mio's and things like that, which I believe are a bit stronger in flavor. Am I showering tonight? Uh, maybe? What's it to you? I'll shower if I want to shower. <laughs> uh, if I haven't decided if I'm going to tonight because first thing I'm doing tomorrow is mowing the lawn so i didn't know if i wanted to shower like tonight and then again tomorrow morning but i mean if i'm stinky i will <laughs> i don't, don't want to go to bed stinky can we use the the like slow time thing to kick this dude's ass hell yeah get wrecked excuse me sir i'd like the coins <laughs> I need to buy the the, the power-ups. All the power-ups, please. You're always... Well, that's just rude. There once was wee little man who held up his wee little hand. Fill it with gold or I'll... Oh, look. Will you pay me gold or not? What happens if we say no? Then go away or I'll bite your kneecaps. Wait, do we have to pay him? So what would have happened if we went back and spent all our coins? Like if I if I was at exactly 600 right now and I went back and gave all my coins to the other dude. Would we just not be able to progress through the game? Would we be soft locked? I guess maybe we can replay through chapters because there is that option to exit the level and, and you can like select what chapter you want to play or whatever. So I guess we would just have to do that. I don't know. I Running quick blade. What's a quick back. blade? Explain. I'm curious now. But no, right don't worry about it, man. Totally get it. 
Because as I always say, people have lives, man. Can't expect people to be here and or be active all the time. I appreciate it. Hood, you're an idiot. Why would you walk right into the trap? I understand the mice doing it, but you're a human. Like, <laughs> with some level of intelligence, at least. Anyways, people have lives. They can't be here all the time. I get it. Are we gonna like rob these graves? Use donkey to burrow bash these tombstones to make a bridge. Why do we need to make a bridge? Where is donkey over right here? Oh shit! I didn't realize the rats would eat the or the skeevers would eat the mice. Uh, okay. So we got to deal with the mouse traps and the the skeevers. Uh, it doesn't seem to be working, dude. Are you having fun? Cause I'm having fun. Am I hitting the wrong tombstones? Oh, I guess those are like the actual tombs or whatever. He must be talking about these. Oh, because there's cheese, so the mice are gonna like fall to their death if we don't, won't they? God, mice are idiots. Why? Like, sure, we can we can toss a rotten apple, but what's the point? Does it explode? It explodes. Okay, couldn't we just have Shrek like do his thing? He. <laughs> I feel like uh, Shrek can create some nauseous gas pretty easily. <laughs> I'm just saying. Best PS2 game ever. What's up, Addy? Not the worst. I'll say that much. From what I've played so far, at least. Oh, son of a bitch. Donkey. Don't run into the traps, dude. Great job, guys. Goated. Graded of, greatest of all time. <laughs> graded of all time. God, I can't talk. It's not bad, honestly. From what I've played so far, it's not bad. I'm actually pleasantly surprised because most of like the, the movie-based PS2 games that we play are pretty trash. So I'm happy to have one that's decent. Got some donkey love going on in chat right now. Lowrider's better. Yeah, mm-hmm. Someone just die or Great job, guys. what? We got rid of the traps. We put down the the tombstones. Right. Did I miss uh, one somewhere? I'm very confused on how the mice died. Maybe if we just run forward, it'll it'll skip. There we go. Checkpoint. Screw those mice. Have I gone to the Star Wars games yet? No, I don't actually own any Star Wars games for the PS2. Outside of uh, the, the Lego one, which I did play a little bit of. And, I mean, it's okay. It's a Lego game. I, I do like the Lego games for the most part, but... I'm not a huge Star Wars fan, so like Star Wars Lego, I guess, just didn't really speak to me. The I can't remember. God, my brain just died. Uh, Lord of the Rings. Holy hell! <laughs> I played the Lord of the Rings uh, Lego game, and it wasn't too bad. I enjoyed it for the most part. The only problem I had with it is that uh, it got pretty repetitive by the end of it. And uh, I ran into a couple glitches that just like paused up the game. You know, like soft lock the game. I had to restart it, which was annoying because that meant I had to replay through a small section. But other than that, it wasn't too bad. Yeah. 
which gonna kick dragon's ass. Don't worry, we'll save Fiona. Wait, are we okay? We're controlling the dragon. Do we have attacks or anything that we can do, or are we just flying? I, th I think we're just flying. Oh shit, an ad just started. Uh, well, I'm glad I noticed that the ad just started. We're gonna take a quick break, guys. We'll be right back. I don't like running ads during gameplay. I hate it. I wouldn't run ads at all if I had the choice, but, you know. Anyways, BRB. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate the compliments. Just, uh, yeah. I appreciate you. You can't wait. Me neither, honestly. Like I said, it looks like a lot of fun. I'm just hoping it lives up to the hype. Because, uh... <laughs> I know Nate's still here in chat, but uh, he he's hyped up one or two games a lot that ended up being a little uh, a little uh, underwhelming. Let's say <laughs> Naruto Uzumaki Chronicles. Anyone? Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate Nate and uh, I, and his suggestions. Don't get me wrong, but uh, yeah, that one that one definitely fell flat. <laughs> It's so fun, has a great story. Highly recommend it if you like it enough to play through it totally. It's so good, and you can help me through it. I, uh, I mean, I can't say for sure until I actually try it, obviously. But, yeah, just from what I've seen of it, it seems likely that I would be willing to, uh, to play through it entirely. Um, so it's been a long time since i played. I forget how to do all the stuff, just everything. Okay, so circle is the spin attack. Square is that attack. Oh, okay. We're also saving. That's fair. I remembered it being so much better. It makes me wonder if maybe you were thinking of one of the other Naruto games or something, maybe. But... Because uh, I was talking to not the game store that I went to today, but one of the other local game stores. You know what? As, as shitty as the area I live in is, we are pretty lucky that we have a fair few game stores locally. I will say that much. But anyways, I was talking to one of the dudes at a, a different semi-local game store. And... Uh, we were talking about the the Naruto games, and he was telling me like how the Uzumaki Chronicle one is uh, not all that great, but one of the other ones I was picking up at that time was actually uh, like one of his personal favorites, like a really good game apparently. So, I mean, we'll see once we get around to playing it. But yeah, uh, as far as my history with Jack and Daxter go, I have 100% this game. I've mentioned it once or twice before, um, but that was on the PS3, the HD edition. So this whole Oh, man. I haven't played this game on PS2 in, like, <laughs> what year is it again? 2022? Oh, it's been a long time. It's been a long, long time. <laughs> I don't even remember. Over a decade, man. Like, it's, yeah, crazy. So, the blue energy, if you didn't hear, the blue energy breaks stuff and collects stuff for us, basically, just by us, like, walk walking past it. So, it gives us, like, magnetism. I'm pretty sure there's other things we can do with it, too, if I remember correctly, but, uh... That's like the, the big the big thing. You keep forgetting it's 2022. I try to forget that it's 2022. <laughs> like, can it just be like 20, 2015 again or something? What was 2015? Hello, hello, hello. We are back. Uh, I just saw the time too after. Wait, can we fly up? Oh, we can. I just saw those, uh, I guess they're coins up higher or whatever so i was wondering if we could actually fly higher to collect them and we can i guess that gives us a little something different to do instead of just flying back and forth we also got to fly up and down in this tight corridor <laughs> why not anyways uh i just saw the time too we got to switch over to stunt man here soon which honestly kind of sucks because i'm i'm enjoying this game way more than i way more than I thought whenever I bought it, right? Because whenever I I saw it and was like, yeah, I'll pick it up because it's relatively cheap. I didn't expect much of it. You know, I, I expected it to be like the other movie games or like those god-awful Nickelodeon games that, that we played. Something along those lines. This is actually pretty decent, man. Nate, you were right. Like, it's a fun time. I could... I, I don't know if I'm going to put this on my want-to-finish list. But at the very least, 
Wait, did we die from hitting one thing? I take back everything I said. This this game is trash. No. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to put it on my one to finish list or on my backlog. Probably on my backlog, but just because I have so many other games that I want to finish. Regardless, though, like it's it's pretty decent, man. If you can find it for cheap, I, I would suggest it. Honestly, give it a go. It's not too bad. It's too bad. I don't think they did the other Shrek game, uh, movies. I don't think they turned those into games for the PS2. Because uh, I have that. I have a list of like, hopefully every PS2 game released in North America. And when I was searching to to add that I own this one now, I didn't see other Shrek ones. There may have been like. Or Shrek movie-based ones, at least. There may have been one other Shrek one. I don't remember for sure. I can't remember if it's for the PS2 or not, but I feel like there is some sort of, like, Shrek... I don't know. Maybe it is this one I'm thinking of. So I was about to say, like, Shrek Brawler game, but I guess this basically is a, a Shrek Brawler game. So, yeah, I don't know, man. Maybe this is the one I'm thinking of, actually. Regardless, though, I wish uh, these developers would have spent some time working on the, the other ones, the Nickelodeon ones. Oh, son of a bitch! Why is it one hit kill? <laughs> like, why? We had to be so close. What's the point of even, a, even giving us a, a health bar if we're just going to die from running into one thing? Anyways, though, the other game we're playing tonight, Stuntman, I don't think that one's going to be too bad. Um, I'm pretty sure a buddy of mine owned that one. And if I remember correctly, I actually had some fun with it. I want to say it's decent. But as anybody who's watched for a while knows, I'm uh, my memory's not exactly amazing, <laughs> to put it lightly. So I could be thinking of something else entirely. It may not have been Stuntman that, that I'm on. Maybe it was, I don't know, Driver or something. I mean, the whole premise sounds pretty decent, though, right? Doing doing cool stunts and cars and, I'm assuming, like, motorcycles and shit, too. Sounds like a decent idea for a game, right? The boss fights are fun in this. Is this, like, would you consider this a boss fight? I mean, in, in a lot of ways it is, right? Like, it's not maybe a traditional boss fight per se, but it is boss fight-esque. Oh my god, man. Thank goodness. <laughs> that ending there was rough. All the up and down and the left and right and stuff. And that was the end of that chapter. Hell yeah, dude. Well, I guess that's a pretty decent time to switch over to Stunt Man. Um, real quick, I'm going to go into the next chapter just because I want to see what the like story is or whatever for the next one. Shrek waited to meet Fiona's parents, King Harold and Queen Lillian. Hoping to impress them, Shrek even remembered to trim his nose hairs. Trimmed his nose hairs? Dude. The king and queen got along famously with Shrek welcoming him with the tolerant love and affection usually reserved for pop stars and heads of state you're not king harold made it clear he wanted fiona to marry prince charming and wasn't so fond of his fat disgusting nose-picking son-in-law shrek made it clear he loved fiona and no pompous king was going to blatantly mock his ogre girth fiona and queen lillian were eventually able to break up the fight the king was approached by fairy godmother who was a powerful provider of happily... So this is roughly following the plot of the movie. That makes sense. I mean, it is literally Shrek 2. She makes offers you can't refuse and can make people disappear. Literally. You understand where I'm going with this, right? Because she could leave me sleeping with the fishes if I said too much. And mirrors and fish don't mix. <laughs> Trust me. Oh, in this the is the man in the mirror or whatever? King Harold offered to show our group around far, far away. I noticed that he was narrating, like, the levels, but I didn't realize he was the narrator for the... Great view. You 
beautiful the the story sections in between levels and be my deputy deputy Shrek, at your service where you see this symbol I need your help. wait a second is this like suddenly open world or something like that hold on <laughs> did the whole game just change So we went from it being like a, I mean, it's still got to be level based though, right? Or chapter based, whatever you want to call it. So maybe it's just like, just a little bit more open, but this is still just a chapter. What? Honestly, I would play a Shrek open world game. <laughs> I could dig it. So if we accept one of these, we're going to have to accept one of the missions. Just because now I'm curious, like, do we go into the building and then just play like a mini level from the building or whatever? They are delinquent hooligans fighting in the streets like filthy ogres. I mean, beasts. Go arrest them now and throw them in the paddy wagon. Oh, no. Okay. So it's just like, they're just like little missions or whatever in this, in this chapter. I mean, screw your kingdom, man. How are you getting around so quickly, though? Like, you're right there, but then I see uh, Fiona. Ex excuse me. <laughs> uh, okay, so the AI is not not exactly the best, <laughs> but it gets the job done, I guess, right? And it's good enough. Don't want the gross stacker pickles. No, you can you can throw them away or do whatever you want to do with them. But yeah, see, he's over there. Now he's over here. Dude's like a teleporter, man. All this time, and I didn't know. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, that was Shrek 2. Actually, pretty fun. It's definitely going on my list of games to beat eventually. I'm going to do that right now before I forget, because otherwise I will. Uh, Shrek. Oh, okay, yeah. Never mind. There's a few more Shrek games than I remember. Um, there's this one, Shrek 2. Shrek Super Party. Shrek Smash and Crash. Shrek Super Slam. That's the one I think I was thinking of. Shrek Super Slam. And there is Shrek the Third as a game too. So I just hope that they spent as much like time and care into those games as they did making this one decent. Oh, and Shrek's Carnival Craze as well. Holy hell, they were really capitalizing on that Shrek thing, man. The PS2 was like actually alive getting games for what? Six, seven years? And they released one, two... Three, four, five, six, six games for it. So basically, like, they could have released one every year. <laughs> That's insane, man. All right, anyways, uh, what was I doing? Shrek 2. I played it, and I'm going to put it on the backlog, man. Not a bad game. Five out of seven. Would play again. Because Shrek is love, Shrek is life. Yeah, exactly, man. Exactly. <laughs> anyways, guys. Uh, taking a really short break this time, not like the five minutes, not even running an ad or anything, just a really short break so I can swap the games and we'll be right back with some stuntman, I guess. I don't know, man, like 2000 and 2011 ish, 2012. Those are, those are pretty decent years. Uh, 2000, 